Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Apocalyptic Adventure 1823. Thanks for the awesome question. You asked, what actually makes a car reliable and durable? If you've ever owned a vehicle or just helped a friend pick one, you know how much this matters. Flashy features and sporty curves are fun, but at the end of the day, it's the reliable and durable ones that truly earn their keep. They're the cars that survive endless road trips, bad weather, and years of daily commutes without constantly breaking down. So what's the secret sauce? Why do some cars go the distance while others give up halfway through? Stick around as we pop the hood on what really makes a car stand the test of time, right here on History of Simple Things. First off, it all begins with build quality. This isn't just about whether a car looks solid, it's about how well everything is put together. The chassis, the backbone of the car, needs to be engineered to handle years of stress without twisting, warping, or weakening. The welds have to be clean and consistent. The panels shouldn't just fit, they should seal out water, dust, and road grime that, over time, can corrode the metal and cause everything from rust to electrical gremlins. Then there's the quality of the components themselves. Are the suspension arms made from lightweight aluminum that cracks under pressure, or thick steel that can take a beating? Are the bolts and nuts cheap, soft metal that strips easily, or are they made to last multiple removals and reuses? These small choices during manufacturing have massive consequences down the road. Car companies that consistently invest in better materials and more meticulous assembly, like Toyota or Honda, tend to see fewer problems as the years roll by. It might sound counterintuitive in this era of tech-laden vehicles, but simplicity is often the secret to a long-lasting car. Overly complex engines with turbochargers, multiple timing chains, and intricate electronics tend to introduce more potential failure points. The more moving parts you have, the more chances something's going to wear out or go wrong. That's not to say high-tech is bad, but when it's done without the proper engineering foresight, it becomes a ticking time bomb. Some of the most reliable engines ever made, like the Toyota 1 NZFE or Honda's old D-Series, weren't flashy. They were modest, straightforward, and over-engineered in the best way possible. Fewer sensors, simpler emissions controls, and less finicky performance tuning meant these engines could tolerate rough conditions, inconsistent maintenance, and still keep ticking like a clock. There's a quiet brilliance in designing something that just works, year after year. Reliability doesn't exist in a vacuum. Even the best-built car needs regular care. But here's the catch. If a car is designed in such a way that maintenance is a nightmare, people are more likely to skip it or botch it. Think about it. If changing the spark plugs requires removing half the engine bay or special tools you don't own, how often are you really going to do it? Automakers that consider the long-term ownership experience tend to position components logically. Fluids are easy to check and top up. Belts and hoses are reachable without removing three other parts. Even the oil filter is located somewhere that doesn't require a prayer and scraped knuckles. A well-thought-out engine bay layout encourages owners, or at least their mechanics, to actually keep the car in good shape. And that simple fact can drastically extend a car's lifespan. A car might be perfectly engineered, but if you can't find replacement parts, or if those parts cost an arm and a leg, its long-term reliability takes a hit. Parts availability is one of those boring topics that makes or breaks a car's durability. Japanese brands like Toyota and Honda excel in this area because their global footprint means there's a warehouse of compatible parts almost anywhere you go. 
Aftermarket suppliers even make reliable knockoffs for cheap. On the flip side, certain European or luxury cars, while fun to drive, can be reliability nightmares simply because getting a new fuel injector might involve shipping it across oceans and paying triple what you'd expect. When repair costs are too high or parts take weeks to arrive, people either put off the fix or sell the car altogether. In the long run, that means more early retirements for vehicles that should have had years left. It's easy to blame the car, but sometimes the real culprit is the person behind the wheel. Driver behavior plays a surprisingly big role in how long a car survives. Constant hard braking, jackrabbit acceleration, skipping oil changes, or driving with warning lights blinking like Christmas decorations, these habits can slowly sabotage even the most reliable vehicles. A driver who warms up the engine on cold mornings, sticks to maintenance schedules, and doesn't redline the car every time they merge onto the highway is giving that car every chance to go the distance. And here's the real kicker. People who believe in the reliability of their car are often more willing to take care of it. It's a feedback loop. The car rewards them with consistent performance, so they treat it even better, and the cycle continues. Now, here's where a lot of people get tripped up. Reliability and durability are not the same thing. They sound similar and sure, they're often connected, but they describe two very different qualities in a car. Think of it like this. Reliability is about consistency. It means the car starts every time you turn the key, gets you from A to B without drama, and doesn't suddenly spring weird problems on you. A reliable car rarely visits the mechanic, and if it does, it's usually for predictable routine stuff. Oil changes, brake pads, maybe a new battery after several years. In short, it's dependable. You don't have to worry that it's going to flake out when you need it most. Durability, on the other hand, is about how well a car holds up over time, especially under tough conditions. It's about strength, wear resistance, and longevity. A durable car can take a beating. Bad roads, extreme weather, heavy loads, and still keep going. It might not be the most high-tech or luxurious, but it's built like a tank. Durability shows up in things like a rust-resistant frame an engine that keeps running even when it's a bit neglected, or a transmission that survives hundreds of thousands of kilometers without giving up. So yes, a car can be reliable, but not especially durable. Think of a small city car that runs well but starts falling apart if you drive it too hard. And a car can be durable, but not always reliable. Maybe it's built tough, but has electrical gremlins that pop up now and then. The sweet spot, of course, is finding a car that's both. One that runs like clockwork and can take whatever life throws at it. Those are the vehicles that become legends, often passed down through families or still cruising decades after they rolled off the assembly line. So if you want a car that's both reliable and durable, it's not just about the brand or online hype. It's about smart engineering easy maintenance, affordable parts, and yes, how well you take care of it. A truly reliable car isn't just built to last. It's built to be trusted. And when it starts every time, no matter the weather or the miles, that's when you know you've got the right one. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.